So you've likely run into the situation where you need to get debug symbols from tools like WinDebug, but you realize that those are on-demand tools, and every time they want to grab the symbols, they reach out over the internet to Microsoft Symbol Servers. Well, here is a tool that can help solve that. It's called PDB Resim. You can find it in the Flare VM. Dash H will give you usage information. I want to point out two commands here, the cache sims and the git PDB command, because I think these are two of the more helpful. Providing dash H to any of the commands provides that command's help information. And what cache sims will do is it will download everything from the system binaries. So this will be by default Windows System 32, and then download those to the C symbols folder. This can take a little bit of time, but once it's done, it will download everything out of the System32 folder. So you're going to add a few gigabytes to your system, your analysis VM, but you'll have all the symbols that now you can point any tool that needs those to and take your system offline. Here you can see under C symbols, uh, we can look for good old kernel32.pdb is the folder name. There is a hash value, and then there is the .pdb file. So there's our debug symbols that we could, again, point our tools to. The last command I want to share with you is git pdb. You can see that this allows you to retrieve a single file. So you just need to provide the file path argument, with this, which is the path of the PE file. Here I just copied kernel32 to a folder off of the desktop. And you can see that it now downloaded that to that default download location, C symbols kernel32. It probably recognized that it already downloaded that and uh, just skipped the download altogether. So really handy tool, PDB resim, you can get it on the Flare VM, and this just helps you to get those symbol files cached and downloaded for offline use.